um, I was still making bad choices. Like I didn't, I, I went from being a bachelor to being a man with a whole family. My name is Jenny and I'm a wife and mom raising two kids, but I used to live a more glamorous life as a TV reporter. I was on the nightly news interviewing pop stars and politicians. So when I said goodbye to TV and hello to motherhood, I suddenly discovered what we moms are up against. We live in a world that tells us to be rich and famous, thin and successful. You know, almost nobody says, oh, hey, you're a mom? That is fabulous. But you are fabulous. And I'm here to tell you why. It's the Channel Mom Show with Jenny Dean Schmidt. We're here for you. Brought to you by the Healthy Marriage Project. Just click on one of their ads to find out about a healthy relationship workshop near you. I first met Yolanda and Darius Jones on the movie screen and then on the stage. The Joneses have received a lot of attention for something that might surprise you. This couple is literally a poster couple for a local organization that happens to be one of our sponsors. The Center for Relationship Education has placed Yolanda and Darius on their posters and in their ads. In fact, if you go to channelmom.com, you can see their picture. They're right up there on our ad on our main page and our banner ad. Uh, Yolanda and Darius are on those posters for a very unique reason. I'm going to let them tell their story. Welcome to the Channel Mom Show, Yolanda and Darius Jones. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so who wants to start up? Um, go ahead, ladies first. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Okay, so how'd you guys meet? What happened? Do you think, you know, what do you think people can get from your story as you're telling it? Well, I think that ours starts out as a kind of, unfortunately, it's more of a typical story than you'd like to hear these days. Mm -hmm. We met in college. Uh, one night stand and I ended up pregnant and um, it just kind of went from there it was um, but you ended up pregnant mm -hmm. and it's not like you're like woohoo wedding bells were good no 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 not at all in fact I I left I moved back to Minnesota which is where I was from we were in New Mexico at the time yeah. um, I told him I didn't want anything to do with him I didn't ever expect to see him again I didn't want to hear from him I was not interested in pursuing any kind of relationship with him even as a father to our daughter um which is kind of sad actually what's your um, daughter's name maya yeah beautiful. Maya. You, have, yep. you have beautiful children I've thank seen their you pictures. we think they're pretty so for <laughs> for how long did you refuse to even have anything to do with him even it though was, you were having his child it was probably about three years right until yeah, our first that. contact yeah and i mean i didn't even uh, we didn't know each other so i didn't care i mean that's honestly uh you know i i was like cool i don't i'm, I'm escaping from uh, <laughs> a duty a, a, a duty and i can go on doing whatever I want to do. So, you know, I, I, I know that, that sounds bad, but that's the truth. I like, cool. No, but you know what it sounds? It sounds honest. Yeah. And, and I, but I want to know, because I know men all over America do it. Yeah. Um, did you, was your conscience pricked at all? Did you ever think about it on occasion? Like, I have a baby girl out there? Um, or did you really not think about it? I didn't really think about it. Really? You know? Yeah. You I could was, just let it go. I just let it go. I was like, you know, she said that it was, she didn't want to be with me. I, you know, I, I'm like a horrible person. <laughs> no, you know, because, back then I was. But, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I didn't really think about it, honestly. Okay. That's, so that's what happened after three and a half years? Um, we he started calling because I think I sent him a box of pictures or something. Somehow something started, and I sent him some pictures of Maya, just some stuff that she was doing, and he started calling to talk to her more, and he would call, and I would get all upset i actually hated her voice when yeah I, we, when first we didn't talking. like each other very much <laughs> i could not stand her voice yolanda's <laughs> voice yeah she had this like minnesota she has a total minnesota accent and, like i was like uh like when she was leaving me a voicemail i was uh i was like no that's horrible <laughs> you do have minnesota accent girl. I, see, no, I don't think so i don't know i don't know yeah. so, so why did you feel like you needed to start calling and talking to maya um, you know, I, when I, when Jolanda sent me that box of pic, of pictures, it was like, you know, she, Maya looks just like me and mm -hmm. I just could not get over how much, you know, this other person in this world looked like me. And I, you know, I just, at that time, my heart broke for, you know, the fact that I was such a bad person. And I didn't really care about that girl. And, um, you know, I just wanted to get back in her life. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then what happened? Um, let's see what happened. We came out here to meet his family in October of 2004, I believe. And, um, was Maya, that the first time that Maya met her daddy? Yes. Yep. And how old was she? She was, she had just turned four, right? Okay. Cause it was after her birthday. Yeah. So she had just turned four. Um, we came out here, met the family, <clears throat> excuse me, met grandma, mom, and brother. And, um, you know, 
kind of he took her to Toys R Us and let her buy just, whatever she wanted. I was just gonna say I that's a funny story. I actually <laughs> saved up like it was like five hundred dollars worth of like five hundred bucks, and I was like, we're gonna just go to Toys R Us and just go hard. <laughs> and she uh, she's bought like three things. That was it. <laughs> that was Bless it. her little heart. <laughs> Like, but you know what? Money. Okay, let's just be corny and say she was more interested in daddy yeah. than she was that's in a bunch of stuff. True. That's yeah. true. I didn't think about that. That's a good point. Thank you. That's why I have a show for yeah. mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, all righty. So three and a half years, you, or actually four years, she finally gets to meet daddy. Daddy spoils her at Toys R Us. Then mm-hmm. what happened? Then um, him and his family, him and his mom came out for Christmas to our house. And everybody said, why aren't you guys, you know, married? What What's going on? You guys are so good together. And we were both like. Mm. No, no. Mm-mm. She yeah. was cute, but she was. You know, She's not very that cute. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been the accent that threw him off. <laughs> so then he came back here to Denver, and then he called me like a week later and said, "Well, why don't we just try it? You know, if it works, then that's good. If it doesn't work, we'll still be friends. We still have a daughter together. You know, I mean, either way, let's just see if we can make something happen." Well, Maya and I came out here to Denver again in that January. Mm-hmm. And we um, made Marcus, our second <laughs> child. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah. had sex twice and we have two kids. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all. You're done. Um, that's how it works. <laughs> um, okay. So you had Marcus. And then, I mean, look, let's just be honest. Most of the people I work with um, are living with their significant others, not married. Um, I don't think any of them have kids. A lot of people do this now. This is what they do. They, they they either hook up or they live together and then they have kids and then, oops, maybe we'll get married, but maybe we won't. Mm-hmm. So what put it on your heart? Because half of America no longer thinks this is necessary. Yeah. Um, so what put it on your heart that you thought marriage is the option? I I don't know if Yolanda did. Um, I, yeah, that wasn't our plan because I was still in Minnesota. He was out here. Um, but you were okay with having two kids without having a family i'm just making asking. Sound bad. well yeah no, i don't yeah. know i mean we were well you know for me it was like i guess i knew him well enough to have sex with him but i didn't really yeah wanna, you know i didn't know him well enough to get married to him at that point in time and then yeah. it just kind of came down to the point of okay we have two kids together um and at some point we need to make a commitment to well for our kids as well i mean to each other yeah. The plan was initially that Yolanda was going to move out to, she's going to come out to Denver, and we were just going to kind of, I don't know, we were going to figure it out, either cohabitate or, you know, we were to have, have our separate places, and we were just, you know, hang, be, yeah, just parent. Yeah, and so, and I want to get to this now, because something changed. You you went, you attended some things, and, and it helped you, as I believe, as I understand it. So you can tell me about this. But I want to say this before we move on, because we only have about six minutes left. A lot of people are going to disagree with my stances like that that I would encourage you to get married. I think marriage is better. I think you're less likely to be in poverty. I think your kids do better in school. They're less likely to commit suicide. They're less likely to do drugs. I mean, all that stuff's proven. Um, not to mention the fact that the statistics show that, uh, let's look at one statistic, cost of non-marital childbearing and divorce is nationally $112 billion. At the cost of the taxpayers, $112 billion to support non-married and divorced families. Crazy. So that, that, to me, that's an issue. Now, a lot of people would say, don't you judge me. We're just fine. We've got kids. We're doing a great job. Amen. There are some people out there that really shouldn't be together. There, there's violence and things like that. I get it. But I also think that marriage, most of the time, is the right thing to do. So yeah. what changed for you guys that you thought, we're not going to do what everybody else is doing? Um, you know, I first and foremost, I would say that God stepped in. You know, it was, it was, it was just a divine appointment. You know, yeah. we, he, he doesn't make mistakes. No. And, um, you know. The fact that we have two kids is 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 just him saying, "Hey, like, <laughs> get it together." I gave you a family. You, I gave you a family. This is the wife that I have for you. So you know that was the main. That was what drove us. You know, really? Um, well, you know, how'd you so, have that epiphany? Did you? How'd you? Um, you know, we were honestly. It was we when I proposed to her. Mm-hmm. We were we <laughs> we went and told her parents that she was pregnant for the second time at a uh, local. Uh, what is that? Panera. There you go. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and and we went back and we just kind of, after we told them and they're, you know, they're pissed probably. Shocked. But yeah. um, we were at the beach and I just, you know, something was telling me, this is the woman that I have for you. Yeah. And and these are the kids and this is the result. And yeah. just trust me. Yeah. Um, so. 
And and Center for Relationship Education helped you through this somehow. There's a reason Most you're definitely. on their posters. What happened? Yeah. Well, we when I moved out here, we, well, we got married in Minnesota, moved out here. That was a, a wonderful honeymoon, by the way. <laughs> a, a U-Haul truck on, on the highway. Um, and we were married for a couple years. The first year was very up and down. I mean, we're both very stubborn. We both really like to be right. So there would be periods where we right. wouldn't where we wouldn't talk to each other for two weeks. But you didn't know each other. That was part of no, what was right. going on here right. too. Right. Right. And so around the two year mark, it was kind of we kind of got to the point where it was um, okay. This is either going to work or it's not. And it was a pretty serious mm-hmm. yeah. point in our marriage, which a lot still, of people get to. Yeah. Right. I, I mean, honestly, I was still making bad choices. I don't know if Yolanda wanted to say that, but um, I was still making bad choices. Like I didn't. I I went from being a bachelor to being a uh, man with a whole family. Like, yeah. And I honestly, I wasn't making the right choices. And um, she kicked me out of the house because of some of those choices. And she was like, you know, A, you're going to come and talk to our pastor. Uh, the pastor was like, you know, God has a plan for you guys. Divorce is not an option for you guys. And you guys are going to have to make this work. Yeah. Um. So the second part of that and, and how the Center for Relationship Education comes in is that we started attending some uh, some workshops. Yeah. And, you know, from there, it just it 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 blossomed because we were really realizing, you know, everybody, every marriage has issues and every marriage has, you know, problems. It's just a matter of what you do uh, with those problems and how how you get through it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think sometimes people are too quick to come to the conclusion that divorce is the answer. And like for us, I mean, if you look at where we started, you would have most people saying, I don't even know why you got married, you know. Yeah. But we have made it work um, through a lot of these things that we've learned at the workshops because we think it's important to be together and to show our kids that something that looks impossible really can be just a wonderful blessing. And, um, you know, I love Darius, and I want to be with him for the rest of my life, and oh. I want to show <laughs> our kids that a happy, healthy marriage is possible. And yeah. through hard work and through, yeah. you know, just dedication, it's definitely something that's doable my personal feeling is that god does bless marriage when you yeah. work on it um you're less likely to be poor as we've said much yeah. less likely to be poor the statistics just prove it your kids are likely to do better in all kinds of areas um i mean really honestly less likely to be suicidal less likely to do drugs so on and so forth the, the, the list goes on and again yeah. we don't condemn people that have gone look it could have happened to any of us we really yeah. could have all made the wrong decision and gotten together with the wrong person or whatever it is but in the end i think that that you know marriage is a divine creation and that you should work on it and keep it going 